Quality flooring options aren't always so easy to find unless you know where to look. Adam Joss of the Vertical Connection Carpet One is here to help. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to have you here. Tell us a little bit more about your business. Yeah, sure. So family business, my parents started the business. Uh, we're celebrating 45 years. Oh, wow. And they started um, as a side gig selling discount vertical blinds um, to, to friends and family and uh, grown from there. Yeah, it's expanded a lot if it's been 45 years, it's been a long time. What are the latest trends in flooring that you're seeing now? Sure, I always joke that it's you know interesting to see innovation in flooring, um, but it's true. And many people are familiar with uh, vinyl plank flooring, which has been popular for a number of years now, whether it's a wood look or a tile look. Yeah. Um, very durable, um, easy to maintain. Um, but also there are other trends uh, that are coming about. So laminate flooring, which was very popular many years ago, really went away. Yes. And now it's coming back in a meaningful way and that's through innovation. So uh, laminate flooring today is highly water resistant. So it gives people the, you know, the protection and comfort they want from mm -hmm. uh, spilled dog bowls or kids. Uh, yeah, as life. I, <laughs> life, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then even with carpet is still, um, still very popular and we're seeing different trends in performance yeah. um, that makes it last longer mm -hmm. and uh, patterns and styling that makes it more appealing mm -hmm. um, and uh, and coloring too so we're we're seeing things shift from the grays that have been so popular into more uh, warmer grayish Yes. Um, grayish tones so yes it's funny because anyone who knows me and watches the show knows that I was all about the gray for yep. many many years and now I'm like I don't know let's warm it up so you're right the trends do they change but I love that your company your business has something for everyone That's it's right. not just what's on trend on top of that you also deal with window treatments mm -hmm. as well so what are the the trends with window treatments yeah like a lot of things home related it's all about automation and motorization yeah so everybody wants a smart home today. So whether it's their video doorbell or thermostat that they control with their phone, window treatments are just the same today. Okay. So you can set it up to um, work on a schedule. You don't have to lift a finger, mm -hmm. um, but there's some very practical purposes of motorization as well and automation. So if, you, if you're on vacation or out of your home for a week, you can continue to have your shades open and closed so that neighbors or uh, passerbys don't know that um, that you're away. So I think about that even with like my dog at home. You know, I have a lot of big windows, and sometimes it can be a little too hot. And maybe when I left at the beginning of the day, it didn't feel like that. So to be able to do that for my phone is really, really amazing. I'm glad you guys have that. On top of that, though, when I'm thinking about flooring, I want to sort of double back to that. When we're getting a contractor for our flooring, how do I, we identify a good flooring contractor, um, especially with so many businesses on the market? Sure. Yeah, great question. And I think this is you know, really important. So there are a couple of things. So first and foremost is every flooring contractor should be uh, licensed. So there's a Maryland Home Improvement Commission. So every contractor should have an MHIC license. And that's really important um, to make sure. Beyond that, I think, you know, things that we do commonly, obviously with restaurants, but check out the reviews. You want to make sure that they have a good reputation, that you feel comfortable, that you trust whomever you're speaking with, whatever representative from the company. Um, additionally, warranties, I think, are really important. So uh, check out, ask them how long they guarantee their work for. Is it one year or is it longer? And I think companies that stand behind their work for longer than one year, are reflective of the type of work that they do, and you yeah. should feel comfortable that, with that. And lastly is, you know, if they have a storefront, because we all know the experience of calling an 800 number and not being able to get to somebody. So That's it's nice true. to be able to just walk in to a store and get the help that you're looking for. And to your point, that really shows us why we should be shopping local whenever we can yeah. because of that experience. All right, so where can we go to learn more? Sure, stop into our showroom in Columbia or we offer shop at home services. So visit us at verticalconnection.com. All right, Adam Joss, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.